So behind me I have a 1995 military Humvee and today we're going to replace the glow plugs in the engine. Right now the thing is not starting. It turns over quite a bit. I'll let you uh, listen to this. So I'm putting it to the run position right now and letting the glow light go and as soon as it turns off, after about 8 seconds, it sits there and does this forever. I've depleted almost a complete battery just waiting for it to turn on. Because when it was colder outside, it would do this and eventually start, but now it's just dead. So what we're going to do is replace the glow plugs and hopefully that fixes the situation. Let's get started. So these are the glow plugs. These are what go inside of the engine. It's kind of like a spark plug except for not. Uh, the glow plugs are what warm up the air inside of the piston, so when it compresses, it fires the diesel fuel. The glow plugs should be right down inside of there, attached to the little red boots that you see. I'll try to get a closer look here in a second. The alternator is going to be kind of in our way, but we should still be able to reach all of them. So the glow plug, there's eight of them, and it is this guy right here. If I pop this boot off, there's the boot, and then the glow plug is that thing right there. And I am using a 3 h inch socket that can fit over the glow plug itself. And then when I tighten them back in, I'm using 13 foot-pounds of torque so that they don't get tightened in too tight. And most importantly, we don't want to cross thread the glow plugs when they're going back in that would turn a very simple project into a much more complicated project. And I just need this somewhere to run for another day, so I don't want to make it too crazy. I'll try to get another angle here in a minute, but now it's all loosened up. I can pull the glow plug out, and there she is. I'll show how to test these with an ohm meter in a second. So to check between the good glow plugs and the bad glow plugs, we're going to put a multimeter at 200 ohms. If I check the resistance of my multimeter, we can see that it's about 1.9 right now, and I believe we want the good glow plugs to be around 2 or less than 2. And so if we add up the resistance of this plus the resistance of my multimeter, we're at 3 right now. So this is a good glow plug from the new ones I bought, and these are the two that I've removed. We can already see that this one is just like blown out the tip, and we can see that the resistance of the blown one isn't even registering on the scale. And this one, check it out really quick, nothing. And so if it's not registering, then it's just completely dead where the good glow plug at 200 ohms on the multimeter is registering. So, two removed and two bad so far. We're off to a good start. So on the far side, I was able to reach those three from up top, and then the farthest one on the engine, I had to go from up underneath. It looks like this one, I'll be able to reach a couple of them through here, but most likely, I will have to grab the glow plugs from here. You can see them each lined up inside of that metal plate. So all the glow plugs are now installed, and uh, I think it's time to test and see if this works. If we just crank it to run, the glow light will turn on, wait for about eight seconds or so, and it'll turn off. And apparently that did not fix our issue. It was still something needed to do though, because I think seven out of the eight glow plugs were just completely shot. Since it's not turning over, it's probably something with the fuel. Either way, that's how you replace the glow plugs in a Humvee, and uh, we'll go on to the next step once I figure out what the next step is. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around.